We're in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to edit the index groups in Control Panel. The first thing we need to do is get into Control Panel, and we can do that by right-clicking on our Start button and choosing Control Panel. And then make sure we're in the large or small icons and out of the category view. Now, once we are into Control Panel, we can click on Indexing Options. And you can see that there are some indexing turned on already, but you can modify that by clicking on the Modify button. So what indexing does is it creates a small database that tells us where all of the files are, so when we need to search for anything, it's much faster at searching than it is with indexing turned off. So if we wanted to index our entire C drive, for instance, we can just go ahead and click on the C drive. And when we're done, we can just go ahead and click OK. We can also click on Show All Locations in case there's some that aren't being shown. And in our case, it's pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and click OK here. And if we want to click on Advanced, then we can go there and click on the Index Settings tab. We can also index encrypted files if we wanted to. And it could be a security risk, so go ahead and click Continue if you want to do that. You can also click on Treat Similar Words with diacritics as different words. Some of these might be words from other languages. Some might be words that mean the same thing as other words. You can always do a lookup on that in online and you can get the full definition. You can also change the index location because remember there is a small database or table that is created. So if you don't have a lot of space on the C drive, you can change where it is located and you can also choose the new location after the service is restarted if you want. If we click on File Types, we'll see a list of all the different file types that are going to be indexed. And if you want, you can add a new file type in here, and you can go ahead and click Add, and then you can select or unselect. I doubt we'll see any extensions with the FFFF, but it's in there now. And we can go ahead and click Apply if we want, and it'll now be indexed if there shows up any files with that extension. And when we're all done, we can click Close. However, if it looks like the computer is running really slow after you enable indexing options, you can click Pause until you're at a point where you don't need to use high performance on the computer, and then you can go back in and you can re-enable. And that is enabling and modifying indexing options in Windows 10.